Yeah, I have an item for it. On your mind. Apart from finding that is most gratifying to hear. May I? I will give you this. Thank you. Strange experience. Each time anew, I come. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Ever the pragmatist in chief, aren't you? <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Shah's blessings upon you. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. And so be it. I did my duty. As for the artifact, hmm. it's powerful and has a mind of its own sometimes. You'd better hope you're up to bearing it. Don't forget what it was like when you heard the voice. It'll only get worse if you don't have the artifact to protect you. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. That's all I need to know. Let the matter drop. Oh. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be asked? 
We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Saloonites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. No, I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed, voluntarily, so that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to oh. return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Jesus. Of course. Sireen. Yeah. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shall will yeah, but if you had your when I succeed, had to have your memories suppressed. Then. Don't you trust yourself? Hmm. And if don't, then why don't you trust yourself? I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. <laughs> I've been offered the greater power by my butler. Ambition is good. You are resourceful and will gather many allies to aid your strength. Use them how you will. But whatever you do, a word of advice. Do not listen to that false butler. He knows nothing of what the tadpole is capable of. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsey knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. <sighs> the absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, 
and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I protect you from becoming a Mind Flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Mm -hmm. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold what them the... off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And go. Our freedom depends on it. I had another dream, which I suppose means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole, venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. ...into a trap. Students, hidden stash. I cannot click on anything. Or do I just use a shovel? In a random place, can I? 
Ah, just like in Divinity. Oh. oh. Yo, that's cool. Here's plus one to sleight of hand. Hmm. And sure. If I dash, I can jump. It's actually really good. Still breathing, despite everything. Reach the mountain pass. Save Marina. Search the lair for a way to help Marina. Wait. this quest time to press ahead Ah, yeah, we can do this. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. I still might have a problem in this fight.
all times. Oh, we cannot attack again. Shit. Now I'll freeze this guy. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. I just exposed myself like crazy. Without raging. I think I had it casted on her, now I cast it on him. Oh, never mind. Let's have a little fun. Half is interrupted. But there are. Beautiful. Time for a new approach. Mistra Rill. Striking distance. The fact that I am not raging. It's a really bad fact. I fucked this fight up by jumping here. Just have raised and just stood my ground. Can't take bonus actions or reactions. Now I'm fucked even more. Library out of sight, out of mind. Mm. 
Now this. Oh. I will fuck him up. Hopefully. They won't know what they shit. This is Mokare. Nice attack. Can imagine having fireball. Can you imagine? I have this. Big boy now. Hmm? Can my character get a turn today? Thank you. It takes so fucking long, man. the ground right here. Don't waste a step. Can't give up. Got to move. <laughs> That's not good. With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. Yes. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Nol see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Deep in the chaos of her mind, something responds to your command. A tadpole. It is the source of the voice. She will obey it. She will obey you. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. I use the power. Oh, 
That's, that's unfortunate. something probably go to sleep Climb the ladder? No. <laughs> okay, thank God. Dogs cannot come the ladders. He's standing his ground. a hungry pit. The flesh of the survivors wasn't enough to satisfy her. Hmm. Oh shit. This won't work. Uh, we can try, sure. There's a chance. Didn't work. She resists, her mind's teeth piercing your brain. Pain shoots through you. She severs the connection and. Well, fuck, I'm dead. I think I'm dead, dead. My character stopped raging for some fucking reason. Okay. But the big boy already had his... ...turn. survive it A good try. Uh, one HP again. Let's not die yet. Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay. Ist, ist oh, invisible. Was ist das? Oh nein, das schützt ihn nicht. Ah. Gemäß. Another guy is bold. Boom. 21 damage, man. Guy is bold. This fucking crazy. Okay. Hmm. Close, close. Close, close. They burn. Of them, it's sure. Nine HP. Got to press on. This is worth the cost. Still breathing, despite everything. Ah, Brown, how did that happen? Ah, the f ice from the. Where's the last guy? Ah, here. Oh, no, there are two. Actually. I'll do it my way. Wow. Three attacks in a round. On level four. What the fuck? These fights are fucking tough, man. Looking ahead. I'll feel that one later. Where is the big boy? I don't get my beauty sleep soon. I may just get a tad malcontent. Hmm. Here's a wither. What the fuck is this? It's a maze? This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. Ooh. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Yeah, let's open. Tadpole has to offer everything it was and everything it was destined to be. 
pure potential, pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. This is sick. One had the weapon. Uh -huh. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. I love how I'm towering him. I might just hold you to that. Hmm. 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 A curious looking chest. I wonder what's inside. Flask, clock, flask. This. Oh my God. Have a lot on my mind. Um. Well, in it. Moving in. There is more stuff around. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Where is it? Okay, this will go to Astara. I don't know, can you wear well, this? Hello. Hacker plus one, you don't need that. Better for you to really? jump further. Despite everything. I think. Never wanted the easy path. Five. 
Oh. So that's how it is. I don't want that. Danny. Trust no one. Mm. I applaud your taste. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, Not as bad as it could have. How does it feel now? Need something? I just gave you some power. Boots have seen everything. Simple blood. What does it mean? I don't know. Okay. 
How's level 5? I might hit it today, I mean on this stream, but I need a break for food. Reach the mountain pass. So I think I want to go to the Underdark, right? What's in the mountain pass? Oh, it's this place, okay. likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Fuck. Dude, you know how much money you're wasting? Thank you. You're a fucking addict. any effect oh mister have mercy on us all listen i need to speak to you to all of you it would be unconscionable of me to remain silent i might just be about to remedy that you have to know who i was you have to know who i really am what i am is a walking shadow of the promise i once held oh I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's huh? company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, Fuck to God, that's all magic. we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. 
She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until... In the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Wait, I lost attention. Uh. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moment. Bound, and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses. Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? What is it? What do you see? All this time, I've been traveling with you despite the tadpole in your head. We are none of us monsters. We are merely hatcheries for monstrous things. And still it gets worse. It's a monster traveling with another monster with another monster. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. 
Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner we might cross paths with a miracle round the bend then again we might not all of this it must feel like a betrayal say the word and we'll part ways Indeed, you truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight, I'll resist, as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Let us. I need to take a break. Wait. Some food. 